In this video tutorial, we will discuss Python program to generate a barcode. Barcode is a small image of lines and spaces. We can use barcode on retail store items, ID cards, and postal mail to store some information like product number, student, or location. Depending on our requirement, we can use different barcode standards. For example, to store only numbers, we can use EAN 13 standard. To store alphanumeric data like IN 2022922, we can use code 128 standard. Let's see the actual Python program to generate barcode. I have used Python barcode library and Google Colab environment to execute this program. In first program, we will generate a barcode which can store numbers. To generate barcode, we will be using Python barcode library. So if this library is not installed in your environment, install this library by using pip install python barcode statement. Then from barcode import EAN13 module. In EAN13, we can store 13 numbers. So imagine that we want to store these numbers into our barcode. So for that create one data variable. Then create object of EAN13 and pass data as its parameter. And finally save your barcode using dot save method and this will be the file name of barcode that we are trying to generate. Execute your code. A file name my barcode will be generated which you can see here and just download this file. And when we open this, you can see this is the barcode containing these numbers. So this is the first program to generate a barcode which is based on EAN 13 standard. Now let's write a Python program which can store alphanumeric value in barcode. To store alphanumeric data, we have to use different barcode standard. So let's import code 128 module from this barcode library. Now I'm not writing this statement again because Python barcode library is already installed. So you can skip this step. This is optional for the second program. Then as we want to store alphanumeric data, prepare your variable containing some alphabets and some numbers. So this is our data variable. Then create object of code 128 standard and pass your data variable as one of the parameter. And then finally, create and save your my alphanumeric barcode using dot save method. Now when we execute this, my alphanumeric barcode will be generated and which you can download. And you can see this barcode is now capable enough to store some alphabets as well as some numbers. So generating barcode is very simple. When you want to read data from your barcode, use your mobile phone app or barcode reader. This will extract information stored under your barcode. Scanning barcode is quick, accurate and reduces typing errors. Hence, they are widely used. Enjoy self-study tutorials.